Hey guys, I'm with my new friend Christian Wolf. And it's, uh, it's actually a pretty crazy story uh, how we met. You want to share that story? Yeah. So basically, it's a, it was a moment of uh, synchronicity, as Luke always talks about. And uh, I was kind of like shoot right into it. Uh, basically, I was uh, in my, my local coffee shop. There's like this dude um, that I have small talk with on like a regular basis um, who was, was actually, I'm, I'm going too forward, backtracking. I, for like two or three weeks now, I've had this um, inclination to uh, travel, um, whether it be Europe or, uh, but mostly th there's like there's a feeling of wanting to either go to uh, Santa Monica or Santa Barbara, and I'm not exactly sure why. It was a, a feeling of intuition, I guess you could call it. And um, basically, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm I'm talking with this guy in the coffee shop, and he. He says to me that he's going to California to pick up some stuff from the storage and come back to where I'm from, Oregon. And um, just right away, it kind of clicked, and I said, uh, clicked in that moment. And I said to him, "Yeah, is it, is it, is it cool if I actually uh, just like roll with you?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" <laughs> and it's kind of weird because this is a complete uh, stranger in a coffee shop. He's kind of like an older man. Uh, I, I was a little creeped out, like on the ride there. Um, I remember even feeling like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember thinking like, dude, am I crazy? Um, and once I got onto the train afterwards to uh, uh, Santa Barbara, where Luke is from, um, I, I definitely started feeling like resistance, like my logical, skeptical side, like, dude, you're crazy, what are you doing? Um, but then, then there was also, too, a feeling of, in my intuition, uh, a feeling of equanimity and a feeling of everything is going to be okay. It's gonna, you're going to have like an awesome time here. Not sure what it's going to bring you, but it's going to be awesome. And I just decided to like lean towards that and, instead of my rational, um, skeptical kind of side. And uh, so I was just kind of in the train, just like enjoying myself, and it was, it was a really cool moment. And uh, so afterwards, I, I walk off the train and I see the place where I'm going to stay. Instead of checking in, um, I, I continue to walk. Uh, just to look at the city and enjoy it, and um, <laughs> like like I was walking for about like seven or eight minutes to Chipotle, and um, suddenly I see Luke and his little American flag hat, <laughs> <laughs> and, and right away like it, I knew it was like a moment of synchronicity. It's almost like a uh, kind of feeling of uh, deja vu. It's like a feeling you can't really describe. Um, it's like it's like a, a click type of thing, and I remember just like Luke. <laughs> he's like, he's like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> like, what does this kid, what does, what does this kid want from me? And um, we we ended up just talking for like two hours, huh? Yeah, we just sat on the bench right next to Chipotle. Yeah, and uh, we, we have like tons of things in common. Yeah, both like fans of Alan Watts. Yeah, Dan Perrion. We both know like the pickup mm. culture and uh, yeah. stuff in the pickup world, and we like really clicked on this intellectual level and like spiritual level and had like this really awesome conversation. Yeah, completely like out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like but, yeah. And uh, now that I think about it, that, that was actually the day that I I, I made I had the day when I had like a super morning. I made a video during that day. It was like mm. that day like like a girl actually approached me. It was just one of those days where like, and then I, I meet you later that day. It was just one of those like really cool days. Yeah, but um. Anyways, this like kind of intro is kind of just a teaser because mm -hmm. during that uh like who knows yeah that could maybe just be a coincidence and you know, yeah. the excitement to traveling yeah. and you, know, you just happen to run into me but um we we end up talking for like two hours and yeah uh, Christian shared with me this like we we just talked about synchronicity bit and Christian shared with me this like really crazy uh, synchronicity story that like will blow your mind and you know that's mm. the main purpose for this video so we're gonna yeah we'll, just like uh, I'd love for you to tell that just story rock into it okay yeah it's 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 a bit personal but I think uh it's it's definitely helpful like to kind of like wrap your mind around the idea of uh, synchronicity so um, uh, basically like to the backstory of what I'm about to tell you is um, I lived in uh, San Francisco for like the suburbs for a period of time with my uh, real dad who I actually did not know that well um, <laughs> And it was, it was kind of one of those moments where I realized, like, me and this guy, we don't click very well. And I, um, I won't go, like, too much into the details about that. But um, I decided just right away, I, I got to go back home to Oregon. And I kind of, like, packed my bags real quick. And I rushed to Oregon. 
and uh, I, I kind of had like a steady like uh, like a steady income, so I was kind of just doing the things that I like doing, just uh, living without working. <laughs> just cool. And um, eventually, I, it got to a point where I needed to get a job, and uh, I got a job at a place called uh, Veggie Grill uh, really quickly. And uh, previously, I I had already had like work clothes. Um, from a previous place that I worked at, so it was going to be my uh, first day. I don't remember the exact day, but um, I, I basically uh, I, I already thought I had the work clothes for Veggie Grill, and uh, so I went to sleep. I woke up. Uh, I had a work shift at like 11 a.m. It was my first shift, and I woke up at like 10 a.m. Um, and I was looking through. I was looking for uh, my work shoes and my work pants, and I realized like I could not find them. I'm like, just, like searching the closet or whatever, and I I, they, I I couldn't find them at all. So I was like, okay, I got to rush to a place called Ross, which is a place I do not normally like shop at. <laughs> First day of work, you're stressed now. You're like you have to make a good impression on your boss, right? You're fucking up before it, it, even it, day one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there's that that pressure. I'm like, okay. Uh, so I, I get in my car. I rush over to Ross. And um, uh, I, I, right, it, it's crazy, dude. Right when I walk in, it's like 10, 15, 10, 20 at the time. I, um, I, I, I walk in and I see my real dad, who, uh, keep in mind, I'm from Oregon, and he's from uh, San Francisco area. And I, and, I, and I see him, and I'm thinking in my mind at the time, like, do, <laughs> like, I'm thinking, do I go talk to him, or do I like? <laughs> like walk away and um, I decided to end up like go talk to him I was like this is crazy and um, he's like oh he's like freaking out like he's kind of like an atheist kind of dude and he's like oh my gosh there is a god there is a god like <laughs> and uh, he's like what are you doing here I'm like what are you doing here like uh, so it's kind of a cool little moment um, and he, he's like never in your area at all he's he's not in my area yeah. he, he's a he's a truck driver so he um, I mean, he's all over the place, but he did not. T he, he knows I live in Oregon, and he did not tell me that he was in Oregon. We kind of like after the moment um, where we like split up, there was kind of like a like resentment on both sides. So we just stopped kind of talking to each other. Uh, <laughs> but in that moment, it was. I, I remember beforehand actually thinking that like I'm never going to talk to this guy again, which is kind of like a personal thing. Um, but it was almost like uh, in that moment, it kind of like, it clicked. And then so he, it, I told him, like I was in a rush. I said to him, like, uh, yeah, I'm actually here to like buy some work shoes. I'm here to buy some work pants. And he's like, oh, he's like, your work shoes? And he's like, oh, I, I actually like have them um, in my truck in this very moment. He said, while you were uh, like rushing out of the, out of the house to leave. Like w weeks or months ago. No, it was right. it was months ago. Yeah, months ago when you were pushing out, it, you it, forgot your it, shoes. it had been a while. Yeah. yeah, it had been a while since we spoke in. Gotcha. Um, yeah, he said like I have your shoes in the truck because you left <laughs> you left them like there, and I was just like, it, it freaked me out. I was like, dude, no way. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then he ended up like we ended up going across like the the street to like Old Navy, and he bought me like a pair of pants real quick. And I said, okay, that's that's awesome. Uh, Thanks, Dad. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> your, your dad has my back. Like. Yeah, like, 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 like. <laughs> he, he had my back, and it was a, it was a really, uh, like, a cool moment. And I think, like, uh, as far as, like, uh, uh, statistically, scientifically, I can't even, like, think of the percentage of uh, something like that uh, happening. And I think that that was probably my most intense and uh, profound feeling of uh, synchronicity, yeah. Oh yeah, awesome story. Yeah, yeah, man. Crazy. And you, you, you made it to work on time, and I made it to work on time, and uh, <laughs> I don't work there anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a different story. It's an amazing story. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to rock into? Um, I, I think it's, we'll, we'll about wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that story, Christian. You're very welcome. So, and uh, Christian is actually uh, starting a YouTube channel. He kind of does his own things, and uh, he's going to mainly talk about like advice primarily for women. Mm. Uh, in the dating realm. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll put a link to his stuff in the description. Make sure to check him out. And uh, yeah, just just for me, uh, synchronicity is kind of just this thing that I, I don't know what life is, and I'm a very critical, like-minded person. But it just seems like there's some sort of. It doesn't even have to be like God or a deity, but there's some sort of like, almost like super consciousness that we could all like tap into. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and, and you know, just having these experiences happen to me because I've had some really intense ones, like the one you described. It just kind of makes me have like faith in life. Like I somehow yeah. trust it, even mm. with like the most insanely horrible things happen in life. That there is like like some really beautiful force like yes. just like this intelligence behind the scenes it's, it's like kind of awkward for me to talk about you know yeah because like, it's it's like sensitive but it's it's, it's real and, yeah you know, we have these experiences where are, like are we going crazy or am i in a dream you know? yeah and it's just like what's real and that's like real life and you know yeah. one of the big things on my channel is just getting that awareness out there that they're like synchronicity actually is real so yeah that's it's beautiful man thanks for having me on yeah. my being in this video and yeah. uh thanks guys hope you guys like this yeah video all right take care <laughs> peace sweet sweet that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> i don't that know awesome. i i don't know if that's but my experience really feels amazing so um just wanted to give that message to you guys the most powerful thing you could do is just for your spirit 